Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a video on multi arc structure. So basically if you are aware we are having the multi arc structure in all the three aspect of an oracle fusion that is 11i, R12 and the fusion. So I will comparatively tell you that how the structure of multi arc structure will works in 11i, R12 and the fusion. Before that, you have to know that uh, what are what is 11i, R12, and the fusion. So I'm just going on one notepad. First of all, what is 11i, R12, and the fusion? So basically, 11i is the first oldest version of an uh, Oracle apps. Okay. Then Oracle apps is upgraded to this R12. So when it is upgraded, then it is called as an R12. And now when it is again upgraded, it is called as a fusion. Okay. So these are both are the older version and this is the latest version of the Oracle apps. So I am comparatively going to tell you that how it will works in 11i, R12 and the fusion. For that, I am having one diagram. So I am going on that diagram screen. So here it is in a diagram. So you can see that there is a multi arc structure of an R12 is here. Then it is the 11i and this one is nothing but the fusion. We are comparatively going to see what are the difference between that. Okay. So first of all, so every organization structure is having some starting point. Okay. So in 11i and R12 there it is called as a business group. Okay. So every multi arc structure will start with the business group but in 11i and R12 only but it is called as an enterprise into the fusion so that is the one change which we get into the fusion then after completing this business group we will come to the ledger okay so what is the business group what is the ledger what is the entity I am going to explain you all these terms step by step okay so first here we are just seeing the flow how the multi org structure is going to work so after business group or after the enterprise we are having the ledgers okay in 11i it is called as a set of books and in r12 or in the fusion it is called as a ledger okay so that is the difference so ledger it is nothing but the combination of the four c's in r12 so four c's is nothing but the calendar chart of account currencies and then the account manager and in fusion also there are this 4c same 4c but in 11i we are not having the 4c structure it is just the 3c structure there is an, a no account manager okay so only calendar chart of account and currencies is there so that is one another difference then after we are having the legal entity in all of the three modules or all of the three versions that is 11i r12 and fusion then we are having operating unit into the 11i and r12 okay which is for the cells and the distribution but that operating unit is called as a business unit into the fusion okay so we are having here the business unit okay then we are having the inventory organization in all of the three so all three are having the inventory organization after inventory organization we are having the sub inventory and then sub after sub inventory we also have the locators okay so that is the same path but till inventory org we have to just know the multi org structure so basically what the main difference we are having over here so in 11i and r12 we are having the business group so fusion we are having the enterprise so that is the first difference and second difference we are having the 4c ledger structure in r12 and the fusion but in 11i we are having it as a only 3c's okay then there is a legal entity which is the same then we are having the operating unit in 11i and r12 but that is called as in a business unit into the fusion so that is the third difference then we are having the inventory organization then we are having the sub inventory organization so that only three aspects are there okay so this is nothing but the multi org structure now step by step we are going to see that what is the business group what is the enterprise what is the ledger and all for that i am just moving to my slides so business group so what is the business group so business group is nothing but the it is in a highest level of an organization in the multi org structure like suppose we are having one organization at our root level okay like we are having 
one parent organization and under that parent organization we are having multiple child organization so it is nothing but the business group so we can say that this and business group is nothing but the enterprise okay just the nomenclature is changed other most of the things are remain same then after this business group we are having ledger so what is basically ledger okay so ledger is nothing but the we are having like as a general ledger uh, one concept is of general ledger so we can call it as a uh, when we have to store any type of a uh, business transaction then that transaction will get saved into the ledger the difference between here 11i and r12 ledger and the fusion ledger so we can say that in 11i and r12 we having the one to one or one to many mapping but in fusion we just have the one to one mapping so that is nothing but the ledger so the next step is an a legal entity so what is legal entity so legal entity which is used to store the tax authority and that legal entity will contains the operating unit so that is called as an operating unit in 11i and r12 but it is called as a business unit into the fusion so what is that operating unit or business unit so it is it is nothing but the major business division which contains the multiple inventory organization under one operating unit or under one business unit we are having the multiple inventories or multiple inventory organizations and what is the inventory organization which is used to store the goods or items okay which will works like as in a warehouse also and one inventory organization having the multiple sub inventory organization and what is the sub inventory organization it is the part of an inventory organization which can contain the multiple locators under it so this are nothing the definition of the few points which we have to see in the multi oc structure so basically this is the diagram for multi oc structure and that is the explanation of the multi oc structure then we are going to see one example for this multi oc structure also so this is the example of an a multi oc structure suppose we are having one organization that is an abc okay so abc organization is having the business into the three countries so they are having the business in three countries so we can say that it is an usa india and uk so this usa india and uk it is nothing but the business group okay they are called as a business group so every business group contains a ledger okay so it is divided again into the three parts so every business group not only having single ledger it can have the multiple ledger also but here we are just denoting as an one ledger okay so usa is having one separate ledger india is having separate ledger and then the uk is also having the separate ledger and ledger is nothing but the which is recording our business transactions okay then under ledger we are having the legal entities legal entity is nothing but the taxation authorization so what this taxation authorization is that suppose this abc organization is having the software business in usa so that business is having some different legal rules so it is called as a legal entity but in india for the same software business we are having the different legal rules so if it is a motor business there is an again some different legal rules so similarly in uk also there there are different legal rules for for each of the business okay then this legal entity which is further divided into the business unit in the 11i and r12 so what are that business unit so software which is having three departments okay we can call it as departments or business unit so that is development testing and consulting so these three department is nothing but called as an operating unit in the language of an you know, oracle apps okay so it is having the operating unit 1 operating unit and 2 and operating unit 3 so similarly if we having the different types of an you know, businesses related to the different legal entities then we are having the separate operating unit and why we are having this multi oc structure because when we want to fetch the data or when we want to see the data that time we can restrict that respect to data based on this multi oc structure suppose i just want to see the data of the bike business unit from india 
okay so where it is so india it is having then bike will come under the motors and after that it is on a bike okay so i can directly fetch this data i don't have to do all the transaction with other legal entities or other operating units so it is called as an operating unit under this operating unit we are having the inventory organization and under inventory organization we are having the sub inventory org and under sub inventory org we are having the locator so this is nothing but the flow for all that respective organizations okay so similarly we are having the same flow for the fusion also now we will see the multi org structure for the fusion okay so this is the multi org structure for the fusion so we are having here the suppose same organization that is an abc and which is having the business into the three respective countries that that is usa india and uk but here it is not called as a business group it is called as an enterprise then after we are having the ledgers so here see that what we are having we are having the different ledger so usa is having one ledger india is having ledger 1 ledger 2 ledger 3 and uk is also having the three ledger why we are having the separate ledger because we are having the different legal entity so the rule of fusion is that the ledger and legal entity are mapped one to one so here it is a map one to one but if i go back to the r12 screen so it will be mapped one to many okay so one ledger can be mapped with the multiple legal entity but in fusion which is having one ledger with one legal entity and then we are having the business unit in r12 we are having it as an operating unit but here we are having it as a business unit so it is called as a business unit development test consulting and so on whatever we had seen into the r12 example after this business unit we are having the same inventory organization then after sub inventory organization and under sub inventory we are having the locator so that would be the same flow but here just the difference is that here is a one to one mapping and there is a one to many mapping also and here it is called as a business unit and in r12 it is called as a operating unit here it is an enterprise and in r12 it is a business group okay so that are the few differences between the multi org structure of an 11i r12 and the fusion so i had explained this to you in the short so if you need any other explanation you can write into the comment section okay so who are new on my channel just for them i just want to tell you that if you want to learn the oracle fusion go through my fusion playlist in my channel please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you